monitored for years, the Raleigh Springs Mall has stood empty with few prospects. But soon, it'll be a major aspect to growth for the Raleigh community. I spent my afternoon hearing, my, I spent my afternoon hearing from an artist who walked me through years of growth in the area. I just wake up wanting to paint. That's it. Joseph Boyd is a muralist born and raised in Raleigh. He was commissioned to paint one of his murals on the last wall outside of the old Raleigh Springs Mall. People ride up and down this wall all the time, and this is like the only structure they didn't knock down. As a kid, he used to pass this wall all the time and felt it needed art. Yeah, when I get out here, though, man, I'm in my own world. He has seen the years of when the old Raleigh Springs Mall rose, then fell and hurt the community. But things are different now. So what I'm doing is painting some arrows, shooting off into the, into the future. We're going up and out. He says the community is consistently growing, and its history is rich. And then I'm bringing in a lot of elements of the community. So you have a lot of diversity, a lot of family. Like I say, it goes back to having the residents here staying here the longest. So people just don't leave when, they, when they're here. They love it here. Boyd says his mural will reflect the story of Raleigh, the pride in its schools, people and where it all began. I take a lot of pride in it, so I want to do the best I can because you got people over here going to see it every day, and I want them to come out here and be proud to be where they are. And he says the community is proud and can't wait to see where it will go. That we're not forgotten, you know, because Raleigh gets forgotten a lot, um, but now we're not forgotten anymore, you know. And I also spoke with Commissioner Edmund Ford about the growth in the community, and he says he's happy with the economic prospects the mall will bring, and hopefully soon. In the studio, Caitlin McCarthy, Local 24 News.